Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic, and this week we're continuing our quest to play all the new lords from Dominaria United. We've played three so far, today we get to number four, which is Valiant Veteran in Mono White Pioneer Budget Soldier Tribal. As you can see, 99 bucks a paper, 62 ticks on Magic Online, so pretty good price for a cute little aggro tribal deck. So let's talk about soldiers in Valiant Veteran. Jump into some games, see it in action. So the reason we're playing soldiers today is Valiant Veteran giving the tribe a real lord. We've had some like pseudo payoffs of Thalia's Lieutenant. It just so happens that many, actually all, except for Valiant Veteran, of our soldiers happen to be human soldiers. So Thales Lieutenant actually works with the soldier tribe. Wedding announcement just works with any tribe, but we've never actually had a pure soldier lord in Pioneer. So this gives us a powerful way to pump our team alongside Thales Lieutenant in a wedding announcement. And the goal of the deck is really to curve out, play a bunch of cheap soldier one drops, Boros Elite can turn into a 3-3, Soldier of the Pantheon, protection from multicolor, going against Kroxa and Dreadbore, Thraben Inspector, Cardrog, Kytheon turns into a bad Planeswalker, but still a one drop that turns into a planeswalker. So ideally we flood the board with these one drops. We pump them with our valiant veterans and our Thalia's Lieutenant and our wedding announcements and kill our opponent pretty quickly before they can recover. Otherwise, further up our soldier curve, two Thalia's, slowing down spells, the big ones slowing down creatures in our opponent's lands, Precinct Captain, a soldier that makes more soldiers, Brutal Cathar, a removal soldier, and that's essentially the deck. We got one Brave the Element in the main deck to protect our team from removal and also sometimes swing through blockers. Mana base, one Cabrilla takedown, and a Jano, Chef at Dunes for more pumpings of planes in the sideboard. The rest of the Brave the Elements, really good against damage base sweepers, any sort of like Anger the God style effects. This is our way to protect against that. Also just great against mono color decks. We just choose whatever color our opponent's playing and make our team unblockable and kill our opponent at one attack. Tide Taker, Gideon to fight against control, portable hole declaration and stone for removal. And that is Soldiers for Pioneer. And that's our budget magic deck for this week. So let's jump into some games and see our soldiers a real deck in pioneer thanks to valiant veteran can they work on a budget how good is this lord which most people rank near the bottom of the list because it has maybe the worst ability of the cycle but it isn't a pretty powerful tribe so let's find out thanks for watching everyone i hope you enjoy it and i'll be back in a bit for the wrap up Today's video is brought to you by our awesome sponsor, Card Kingdom. You can get all the Dominaria United cards you need and help support the show over at cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish. Budget magic time. We are playing some soldiers in Pioneer. And, well, this hand's a, a bit on the land-heavy side, but thankfully we do have a Chef at Dunes and also a MDFC. But we would prefer to stop drawing lands. Opponent, red mana, and passes. Well, play the planes. Play a Thalia's Lieutenant. Grow the Kytheon, hopefully. Fire Impulse. Okay. Well, pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Steam vents. Untap down to 18. And passes. Well, we'll play a planes. We'll play Thraben Inspector. Get some triggers. We'll play another Thalia's Lieutenant. <laughs> Sensor. Okay. Well, yeah. Hit you for two. Pass the turn. Considers. Spire Bluff, Canal, and passes. Well, we will play Chef at Dunes. Play Thalia's Lieutenant. Get some triggers. Go attacking. Hit you for six. Triple Thalia's Lieutenant might be enough. Opponent's down to 10. We are out of action at the moment. Cycles a sensor. Wow, that was through a removal spell and a sensor too. What do you got? This Thalia's Lieutenant being up to a 4-4 is pretty, uh, pretty, pretty helpful. Gonna make it hard for Is It to kill, at least with one spell. And we get a redraw with this clue. I mean, a Lord would be great, like Valiant Veteran, but we will take pretty much any soldier at this point. Prismari Command, gonna kill the Thalia's Lieutenant, get a treasure. Okay, opponent passing. Well, crack the clue, see what we find. Soldier of the Pantheon, okay, that is a soldier. And Thraben Inspector, so, all right, Soldier of the Pantheon. Grow Thalia's Lieutenant. Thraben Inspector. Grow Thalia's Lieutenant. Hit you to two. Oh, we're so close. Swig, opponent. Two points of life. 
Pass the turn. Do we have it? Do we actually have it? Is this the win? Is this the soldier win? Found it. Cycles another sensor. Oh, they need something pretty good here. Has to be pretty good. Dig through time. Okay. I mean, that is pretty good. But what can our opponent get with three mana that's going to deal with this? I guess they need like land, anger the gods, fiery impulse. An opponent can't hit it. Okay, that was actually not bad. So, opponent's playing a control deck, it looks like. Gideon in, brave the elements in. Go down. Probably like a precinct captain. We got on like a Boros Elite, a Soldier of the Pantheon, a Brutal Cathar, and maybe Big Thalia. Something like that. We didn't get to see much of our opponent's deck. Yeah, let's try it like that. I think that's fine. So Brave the Elements, since our opponent's is it, presumably their sweeper is going to be damage based. And Brave the Elements is just one mana, one mana counter Anger of the Gods or whatever. All right, opponent's on the play this time. We'll see how much that changes things. I mean, we're going to keep this hand, I think. We do have two Valiant Veterans, but a little slow. No one drops. No one drops at all. Bonus, Steam Vents tapped and passes. All right, there's a one drop. Get down Soldier of the Pantheon, pass the turn. That's good. Getting down a one drop definitely improves this hand a ton. Steam Vents tapped. Well, play the land. Valiant Veteran. Hit you for three. We need to dodge Anger the Gods for one turn. And then we can use Brave the Elements for protection. Spire Bluff. Come on. No sweeper. One more turn. Prismari Command. Gonna kill the Valiant Veteran. Make a treasure. Okay. Well, that's better than a sweeper. So play the land, play Valiant Veteran, hit you for three, down to 14 past the turn. Indomitable creativity, okay. For a world spine worm, although Brutal Cathar can answer that. So we draw planes, Brutal Cathar, get rid of the world spine worm, hit ya, down to nine. Maybe we can get their opponent untaps. Do we just survive the creativity? Brave the elements on red, are we scooping? Oh, all right, so opponent has the ability to get back their world spine worm, that's bad. Oh, but we have a brutal cathar again, that's good. Hit ya, down to four. Do they have another sweeper, opponent untaps? Come on, deck. Hold. Cycle sensor. Desperate. Desperate. Do they find it? Or do the soldiers get there? Valiant veteran? Cycle sensor? Okay. Do they find removal? Plays the land. Ah, scoops it up. Okay. Whew. Apparently, we learned that uh, soldiers, more powerful than a world spine worm, cheated into play for just four mana. Doesn't matter. And remember, too, we had the, the Valiant veteran hanging out in the graveyard to potentially grow the team. That was a good win. That was a good win. Sweet, sweet. Budget magic time. We keeping the one lander, <laughs> playing some uh, some soldiers. We're on to DMU Lord number four with a uh, Valiant Veteran, which is not in this hand. But uh, we're playing some budget soldier tribal in Pioneer. This hand, if we go land land, it is pretty spectacular. If we draw even one land next turn, it's pretty good. If we don't draw lands, well, we get to play a bunch of one drops, but not sure that that'll be enough. We will, we will see. So uh, hopefully we get a land or two. These are such tough keeps. Yes, it's one land. On the other hand, we have four one drops. So even though it's one land, we can do a lot with that one land. I'm gonna thaw these, sure. Now they know we only got one land. Takes another soldier of the Pantheon. And, ooh, all right, uh, Thraben Inspector. Not a land though. Oh, with this Thalia's Lieutenant, the land would be so good. Hit ya. Down to 16. Herborg for our opponent. More thought seizes. Interesting. Did they take the Thalia's Lieutenant or did they take the Boros Elite and hope we don't draw land? Takes the Thalia's Lieutenant. Opponent passes. And land? No. We're getting a little punished for that one land, one keep. Get in, hit ya. Fatal push. Well, I mean, opponent is down to 13. However, it's turn three and we still haven't drawn that land. And Liliana the Veil. Mm-hmm. Ticks up. We'll discard Thalia. Opponent discards Croxa. Land? Yes. All right, so play the land. That Croxa is going to come back. Uh, I guess we just run it out and try to play through it. Thalia. Hit. Yeah, we're, we're going face. Our goal is to close out this game. Opponent down to 11. Sulfurous Springs. Last card. Oh, another fatal push. Ticks up. We draw. 
the planes. Well, play the planes. Go to combat. I guess we better hit Liliana for one. Pona goes to 10. This Crox is going to come back, though, and we don't have an answer. Ticks down. We'll sack the Thraben Inspector. Opponent plays a land. Can get in with the Hive of the Eye Tyrant, but doesn't. Well, we will sack the Clue Draw card. Valiant Veteran. Well, okay. Uh, Borosolite. Valiant Veteran. Pass the turn. See if our opponent just cashes in the Liliana. This is a big draw. They do. Well, we will sack a... Sack the Valiant Veteran. This lets our opponent get back the Croxa, though. Yeah, we kind of got Liliana wrecked. Opponent, Croxa. Yeah, I think we went just a few too many turns without without drawing that land. Well, play Thraben Inspector. And pass the turn. Opponent. Oh, what a top deck. What a top deck. That's like top decking two cards, really. Oh, Bone Crusher, what a draw for our opponent. Bone Crusher Giant gets and hits us. And yeah, it is probably over now that our opponent top decked that, uh, that Bone Crusher. That probably does it. Brutal Cathar is a good draw. I don't think it's a good enough draw. Brutal Cathar. Get rid of the Croxa. Play the land. Pass the turn. Den of the Bugbear. Attacks. We gotta take it. We get to flip the Brutal Cathar, though, probably. All right, flip Brutal Cathar. Oh, wow. Those are some really good draws for our opponent. Those are really, really good. Uh, all right, Gideon's in. Can't do, can't do a ton about that, unfortunately. We took, we took too long to, we took too long to be able to find our, uh, our second land. We tried, we tried hard and we fought hard with one land, but it was what, turn four, turn five before we draw land number two. So we just couldn't deploy our stuff quickly enough and that allowed our opponent to get their Liliana going. Wow. Are we doing it again? I think so. We never learn from our, uh, from our mistakes. Soldier of the Pantheon, go. <laughs> this is almost exactly the same hand as last time. Blood, Crypt, Tap. Can we draw a land? Yes. So that's a little different than last time. Uh, play the Tap land. It is tapped, but it is a land. Thraben Inspector, hit you with the Soldier. Soldier is actually kind of cute against uh, Kroxa in specific. Can we draw one more land? Mountain for our opponent. Well, go to combat. Attack ya. Ooh, takes it. Okay, so now we get to wedding announcement. Start drawing some cards. Pass the turn. Oh, this worked out. We hit our lands this time. Opponent kills the soldier of the Pantheon. And Blood Crypt. Boom, crush a giant. We can brutal Cathar it. Well, that's just Boros Elite Precinct Captain. Pass the turn. Make a token. Try to set up for a good Thalia's Lieutenant next turn, hopefully. Blood Crypt. And Kelly Toss. Well, Brutal Cathar is an answer to that. Opponent passes. Brutal Cathar. Get rid of the Kalitas. Attack with everything. We're gonna lose our precinct captain, but we hit our opponent for five. So opponent's down to six. We get to draw a card. We get to flip the wedding announcement. Opponent attacks, we will take it. Extinction event. Gets back the Kalitas. We actually have an answer here though. We get to Declaration in Stone Kalitas. Play Soldier of the Pantheon. Hitch ya down to four. Are we taking down Rakdos? Could it really be happening? Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Sure. I mean, opponent's gonna need another sweeper, really. Oh, another wedding announcement. Play Boros Elite. Play Thalia's Lieutenant. Grow the Dorks. Opponent has a Fatal Push. Yep. Are you blocking or are you going to one? Opponent blocks. All right, well, let's see if they can hit another sweeper. Although, Extinction Event wouldn't do it, would it? Extinction Event can't get rid of everything. Discards, discards. And land. Another Extinction Event. Wow, and a Fatal Push, all right. Precinct Captain, play the land. Oh my goodness, I can't believe they double hit there. That was a uh, that was pretty good running for our opponent. Opponent flips the saga. Gonna get back Croxa. I can't believe they hit Sweeper and Fatal Push. Like that's what they needed. They needed to draw into both, and they somehow did. So we discard a land. Opponent gets a Croxa. Opponent plays a land. Opponent passes. Wow, so close and yet so far. Wedding announcement. 
Is there any way we can do this properly that lets us win? Oh, we're one point of damage short with this Brave the Elements. All right, I guess we pass the turn. We make a token. Opponent sacks the clue to draw a card. Opponent goes to combat. Well, Brave the Elements on red. Block the Croxa. Oh, we're really gonna come up one point of damage short, aren't we? About it, Blood Crypt tapped. Passes. Is Jano not super helpful? Well, go to combat. Attack with both. Rending volley. Mm, we get to draw uh, a planes. Whoa. Well, I mean, this is gonna go down as a O2 loss, although golly. Oh. I mean, it goes down as O2 loss, but jeez, was that unfortunate. Oh my God, we we're gonna draw lands forever. Wow, was that close? Well, it goes back to that one turn, that one turn where our opponent was dead on board and had apparently the greatest Fable of the Mirror Breaker activation of all time, drawing into extinction event number two. Remember, opponent has two rats this game and just barely one, but they managed to Fable the Mirror Breaker. They needed to hit exactly second extinction event plus exactly one mana removal spell and they hit exactly second extinction event and fatal push. Ah, uh, I mean, what can you do? What can you do? Budget magic time. We are playing some soldiers. Testing out DMU Lord number number four in a uh, in Pioneer. The sand's not bad. Two lands, double soldier lord, removal and Thalia. Could work. Opponent doing some mulliganing. Well, that probably works in our favor. Are they somehow playing Tron in Pioneer? Not yet, maybe after Brother Wild, down to four. What is going on with our opponent? Can you find the perfect three? Well, okay, land three, bin inspector, go. Opponent, what are they doing with four cards? Temple Garden, Elvish Mystic. Well, land and Thalia hit you for one. Opponent, forest and Elvish Mystic. Well, they, are they just gonna drop a five drop or something? Uh, play Chef at Dunes. Thalia's Lieutenant. Grow the Dorks. Hit ya. Opponent untaps. And scoops it up. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. That was the weirdest four card hand I've ever seen. What is our opponent playing? That's the real question. Well, I think we want portable holes. Bring in portable holes. Go down. Maybe some Thalia's? Uh, there's so many decks that play Mana Dorks, it's hard to really know exactly what our opponent's deck is about. I guess we just bring in portable holes, do a little trimming, run it like that. We'll probably get a better a better sense of what our opponent's deck's up to this game, assuming they don't, again, mulligan into the all Elvish Mystic hand. <laughs> what a weird hand. This is fine, we'll keep. Oh, opponent, down to six. Come on, do it again. Two in a row, two in a row. Oh my God, down to five, okay. Four, twice in a row? <laughs> Oh, I am glad we're not at our opponent's house right now. My guess is there's probably monitors getting smashed through windows. Definitely words being said that would not be able to make it on the YouTube channel. And this is where uh, you say good game to your opponent since we had a very good, a very good match of magic and we won. So that's the play thing to do, right? You gotta, you gotta say good game. Well, got him <laughs> somehow. Budget magic time. We are soldiering on in Pioneer this week. Seeing if our new, ooh, control A. Eh? Seeing if our uh, our new soldier lord can make the soldier tribe actually good in Pioneer. This hand's interesting. If we draw land number three, it might actually be good. Well, Boris Elite, go. Yeah, getting down the wedding announcements would be sweet. Well, there's num land number three. So we'll Thali as lieutenant. Grow the Boros Elite, hit you for two. Opponent down to 18. Opponent Fabled Passage. Well, play the land. Oh, we just gotta go aggro, I think. Precinct Captain. Grow Thalius Lieutenant. An opponent! Whoa! Scopes it up! That was a good one. That was just like such an aggro soldier start that our opponent pieced out <laughs> about as quickly as possible. Let's bring in the Gideons. 
Go down Athalia. Go down maybe one precinct captain. Is there anything else? Brave the elements? Is it necessary? Is it worth it? Let's let's run it like that. Let's run it like that. That was a good soldier win. That was oh, that was an impressive one. Apparently we can punish the decks that are getting off to slow starts. Oh, we're keeping this. We're keeping this on the draw. We would really love to draw one more land. If we draw one more land, this hand is kind of spectacular. Brutal Cathar. Well, we will lead on Soldier of the Pantheon. Go. Well, the question is, do we draw land number two? If we're stuck just playing A1 drop a turn for the next couple of turns, we're in trouble. Okay, that's kind of land number two. Technically land number two. Boros Elite. Hit you for two. Now the question's gonna be, how do we play around sweepers? Opponent, Glacial Fortress. Mana looking a lot better for our opponent this game. It's the Yarion. Well, let's play Thalia. Hit you for three, opponent. Stomping grounds untapped. Well, play Jano. Play Thraben Inspector. Get a clue. Play Valiant. Ah, oh boy, we might be overextending into a wrath here. Valiant Veteran, go to combat. Growth Spiral. It's the land. Shark Typhoon. Can they cast the Wrath through Arthalia? That's the question. We hit our opponent for a ton. Hit them down to three. Do they have the Wrath? Radiant Flames. All right, so they do have the Wrath. Opponent staying alive, staying alive, unfortunately. Well, we will play Precinct Captain past the turn. Yeah, that might be enough. Opponent untaps. Chain to the rocks. And... Memory Deluge to draw cards. As a mono white deck, we don't have any burn spells. So it's not like we can just draw a burn spell to throw it at our opponent's face and finish this game. Temple Garden tapped. Well, we draw land. Valiant Veteran. Thalia's Lieutenant. Well, this is pretty much our last hurrah. Pass the turn. Oh, we should have played them in the opposite order. This isn't a human, is it? Awkward. Yeah, we definitely should have played them in the opposite order. For some reason, I was thinking this was going to pump the Valiant Veteran, but this is the one non-human in our deck. Nissa. Just Nissa's not enough, right? Untaps the land. Wow, Radiant Flames. So that punt actually came back to bite us there. Opponent passes. Yeah, we would add another toughness. Yeah, that does it. Yeah, we should have played things in the opposite order, I guess. Wow, that was so close. So now that we see what our opponent's doing, we're bringing in Brave the Elements for sure. We can go down a couple of Brutal Cathars probably, and maybe another Precinct Captain. Brave the Elements is our answer to our opponent's Red Sweeper, essentially. And we're on the play. As we saw in game number one, a good hand on the... Oh, it's so, <clears throat> so many lands, so many lands. Oh dear, well, Borsley go. This is one of those hands that I don't think we can throw back, but I am not confident in it doing what we need. I'll play the land. Play Valiant, Valiant Veteran, get in for two. Thalia's Lieutenant's not a bad draw. We would love to draw Sweeper Protection. That's what we need probably most of all. Opponent Island, passes. Well, Thalia's kind of Sweeper Protection. Uh, Thalia. This is at least another turn until our opponent can cast a Sweeper. Unless they can grow Spiral right now. Well, we will pay the one for Jawari Disruption. Hit ya for four. All right, Brave the Elements. Brave the Elements off the top, opponent. This would be a good turn for Brave the Elements. Chain to the Rocks. Going after, I assume, the Thalia, yep. And a tap land. A Plains. Well, I mean... Oh, this is so bad, but Boros, I guess we gotta hope they don't have it. Boros Elite, Thalia's Lieutenant, hit you for five. Well, I mean, we're at the, either you have the Sweeper or we kill you. If you have the Sweeper, then we scoop because there's no way we're gonna rebuild. This is where the Brave the Elements would have been super helpful. Okay, Gross Spiral. Puts a Plains into play, Fabled. Is this Gross Spiral and the Sweeper for the Rubbins? Yep. Mm-hmm. And there's the Thalia. That would have been pretty good last turn. Well, play the Thalia past the turn. Yeah, I think we are dead though, unfortunately. We just don't really have the ability to rebuild from here. We know our opponent's just gonna be dropping bomb into bomb. Well, Thraben Inspector, get a clue. We're doing what we can. We're fighting the good fight. We're, we have not early scooped. There's the Brave the Elements. That would have been the card that Literally would have won us the game had we drawn it two turns ago. Oh, it's so important against these sweeper decks. Opponent. 
Memory Deluge, five cards deep to grab some sweet, sweet action. Little late, Brave the Elements, a little late. Glacial Fortress, here comes the bombs. Nissa, gonna start untapping lands. And they have no color, so Brave the Elements doesn't beat them. That's an issue. Portable Hole. Brave the Elements. Pro White. Wow, we're gonna end up like a point of damage short here. I mean, we can Valiant Veteran. Hit you to two. But two is not lethal. Like, two does not let us win this game. It's the Yarion. Untaps. Wow, what a brutal loss. What a brutal loss. Pona gets in. Oh, heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Yeah, Yarion blinks, blah, blah, blah. Oh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. So close. Budget magic time. We are pioneer soldiering. And ooh, this ad looks good. On the play, one drop, double two drop, double lord. And then a couple of good three drops as long as we get a land. Well, Boros Elite, go. Let's see what our opponent's up to. Snow covered island and passes. Well, Chef at Dunes and. Yeah, let's precinct captain. Kind of guessing our opponent's spirits. If we attack, yeah, I think this is fine. If our opponent flashes in something and trades, I think it's it's fine. Flashes in something, but no trades. Ottawa and Curious Obsession. And double, oh God, okay. Well, opponent's gonna draw many cards. We just gotta flood the board and hope for the best. Or if we draw land, we get to end all this, which would be spectacular. We do not. So in that case, we will fail as lieutenant. Grow the dorks. Hit ya. Make a token. Opponent down to 40. Plays a land. All we really wanted to draw a land there goes attacking. Hits us. Draws a bunch of cards. Jacklegeist. Well, play the land. Attack with everything. Opponent. Gets smacked. Down to five. Boros Elite. I was hoping our opponent was going to do something, and then we could Brutal Cathar, but we'll just settle for playing a bunch of Lords. This should be enough, right? There's no way our opponent's going to kill us, and I don't think Mono Blue's going to stop us. Oh, okay. Who's the better tribal deck now, Mono Blue? Who's the better tribal deck now? Well, Portable Hole in, and I think this is a good Tithe Taker matchup. So a little bit more removal. Bring in Tithe Taker. Go down. Thali is good. Big Thali is probably not good. Precinct Captain kind of went off that game. Let's go like one Boros Elite. You know what? <laughs> one of each one drop. Yeah, it's probably got to be a couple Precinct Captains. Actually, you know what? Let's go down a wedding announcement. Run it like that. Well, that went well. Pony had double curious obsession, but we just played so many soldiers it didn't matter. Ooh, we got the portable hole. We'll keep this. I feel like we're probably relatively well set up to deal with what our opponent's doing. Mazalium Wander. Well, play the land and yeah, let's get a body on the battlefield. There could be some argument to just getting rid of the Mausoleum Wander, because then our opponent won't have a target for the curious obsessions. Although it's probably better if our opponent Curious Obsessions, and then we kill it. So there's a Curious Obsession. Opponent gets and hits us. There is some chance they have like a Spell Pierce or something, but opponent hits us, draws a card. And Hollowed Fountain untapped. I'll play the land. I'll go to Combat Attack. Play Boros Elite. Play Thraben Inspector. We're actually just going to let the Mausoleum Wanderer live for another turn and get as many bodies on the battlefield as possible. This does let our opponent draw another card, but we're just attacking for more than they are at this point. Opponent combat. The only upside is I feel like our opponent's missing land drops. So getting rid of their stuff could get uh, could help in that regard. Opponent hits us, 15 draws, land, and Catilda. Ooh, okay. Well, play the land, Brutal Cathar. Get rid of Catilda. Hit ya. For a bunch. Opponent goes to 11. Land for our opponent. More Mausoleum Wanders. I mean, we're kind of winning the race, right? More Mausoleum Wanders. Well, maybe not, if they have all these, all this pumping. Oh my goodness, Shackle guys. Okay, so opponent's hand is on the battlefield. We're taking a big hit here. Opponent hits us. Sure. 
draws a card. We untap Lord, maybe? Soldier of the Pantheon. Well, the opponent can tap two of our things. Now go to combat. Opponent taps and taps. So we hit our opponent for two. We portable hole. Get rid of a mausoleum wanderer. Soldier of the Pantheon. Soldier of the Pantheon. All right. I mean, if our opponent has a Lord, we're probably dead. Gonna be close. Land. On the other end, if our opponent doesn't have anything, then we're probably in great shape. If we draw a Lord, that would also be sweet. Opponent got to draw, what, three extra cards with Curious Obsession? Being able to get rid of the Catilda was really big. The life gain from that, whoo, would have been an issue. Opponent combat. Passes. Well, right, play the land. Go to combat. Opponent taps. Uh, one, two, three, four. Do we attack with this Moon Rage Brute? Play Flash and a Lord. Double pumps, trades. I think we do. Yeah, attack with everything. Opponent. Flash is in Spell Queller. Okay. Pumps the dorks, gains some life. Can our opponent for afford to kill our stuff, though? Opponent. Blocks. Locks. Okay, so they're just gonna kill some stuff. So stuff dies, opponent drops to four. We sack a clue. Yeah, let's play Thalia. Pass the turn. Curious Obsession returns. Gets in to draw a card. Problem for our opponent is, if they cast another spell that flips our Moonrage Brute back, and we get to get rid of something. Opponent does not. Oh, we draw land, which is pretty bad. Oh, go to combat. Can tap down something. I think our opponent needs a flash spirit here. Well, all out attack. Pump. All right, opponent finds a rattle chains. Pretty big. Does this win our opponent the game? Okay. How are we blocking? Blocks Thalia. Gotta block something else. Blocks. Gotta block something else. Blocks. The opponent's gonna go to one. Wow, this is so close. So opponent goes to one. We crack the clue. Play the land. Three, four, five, six, seven. Play precinct captain. Wow, do they draw a lord? Opponent untaps. No lords, please. Please, magic gods, please. Oh, this has been ridiculously close. Goes to combat. Hits us. Trying to get the top deck. Do they find it? We drop to six. Glacial Fortress. Opponent has to stop all of our creatures. Every one. While wow, we whiff again. Well, go to combat. Spectral Sailor comes in. And draws a card. Well, we attack with everything. Opponent. Blocks. Blocks. Stuff dies. Wedding announcement. Draw. Oh no. Oh no, that's how you lose. That's how you lose. That is the worst time to top deck all the lands in a row. Haven't been able to flip this Brutal Cathar back because we've just flooded at the worst offer, the worst possible time. I feel like we're gonna end up losing this probably. Opponent combat. Yeah, we have just drawn so many lands at the absolute worst possible time. If we had drawn a double spell at any of those points to flip this Brutal Cathar, I think we win going away, but Shacklegeist plays a land. We draw Thraben Inspector. Well, play Thraben Inspector. Get a clue. Sack the clue. Play a land that might do it. Brutal Cathar. Oh no! It doesn't do it! It doesn't do it! Go to combat! It doesn't work! We're, we're dead. Wow. Oh wait, maybe. Go attacking. Maybe it does work. So it doesn't work, but it does work. So it comes in and doesn't do anything, but we cast two spells. So what's gonna happen here is our opponent blocks, our opponent blocks. So we lose the Boros Elite, they lose something, but then both of our Brutal Cathars are gonna flip, so we get to get rid of both of the creatures and stabilize. Wow, that was close. That was ridiculously close. Well, all right, that was that was a good uh, a good soldier game. Very good soldier game. We didn't draw any of our big payoffs, our lords, but just playing a bunch of soldiers was enough to overcome. Oh, drawing a scary amount of lands right at the the last minute. That was sweet, sweet. So what did we learn this week about soldiers in Fiatir? And record-wise, we ended up going three and four, which eh, would have been nice to get another win or two, but I will say, you saw our matches. 
while those losses were super close and that's how most of the losses were with this deck so even though the record could have been a little better overall i came away from it feeling pretty encouraged about the potential of the soldier tribe because really it wasn't like we were getting blown out in the games where we did loss it came down to like a top deck for our opponent maybe a missed damage here some small little thing was the difference between winning and losing so i came away thinking well soldiers actually kind of feel like a legit budget tribe in the format and that makes sense valiant veteran really huge addition just getting a two mana lord is really powerful in a tribe that already has these really good one drops if you look at like merfolk for example merfolk they get really good lords but their one drops are kind of like meh soldiers they got some really strong one drops boros elite was really good soldier of the pantheon there was sometimes that protection from multicolor was super relevant a thraven inspector obviously always overperforms. so having these really good one drops to benefit from the lord is a huge huge deal so i feel like soldiers is one of the tribes that can benefit the most from having a lord like valiant veteran so i feel like the deck played pretty well overall so if you like to beat down and be aggressive i think that this is a reasonable budget option for pioneer definitely not top tier would have liked to win another match or two but like i said our losses were mostly close and the deck can definitely pick up some fast wins as far as upgrading the deck I think probably the most likely upgrade plan is to go into a second color. I don't know if it would change a ton in the main deck, although it is worth pointing out soldiers are one of those tribes that are split across all the colors. There's black soldiers and green soldiers and red soldiers. So if you go into green, you could have like King Darien. And then if you go into black, you'd have Thought Seize in the sideboard. Or if you go into blue, you could have Negates or Dovin's Vetoes in the sideboard. So there's lots of potential making soldiers like a two color deck, even a three color deck. So I think that's like the pathway forward. Not 100% percent sure what the best splash color is i think i'd mostly be looking at a splash color to improve the sideboard i feel like our removal for creature decks in the sideboard really really good portable hole declaration stone that was really solid where it's a little bit sketchy is our control plan like the tithe takers and the gideon black blades they're fine but could those be upgraded uh, to counter spells or discard spells or something i think that's probably the easiest spot to upgrade the other thing i would mention is i think i want to sneak another brave the element elements into the main deck that was a card if you're watching the matches wow it can be so powerful it's risky to just play like four of them because if you ever draw like two or three of them and no creatures you're gonna be really sad and just lose but the upside of brave the elements is really immense in a mono white deck giving your entire team protection for a single mana instant speed is bonkers it avoids the sweepers it fizzles targeted removal and we had a couple of games where we were just like begging to draw it because if we drew it we'd be able to alpha strike through our opponent's blockers so I don't think we can go four in the main deck, but I think we could go up to three, maybe two, somewhere in that range. So that's something else that's worth considering. So like I said, don't max out on them. That would probably end up uh, backfiring a little bit and just not having enough creatures in hand and flooding out with these instants. But I think another one in the main deck, at least, could be a really big deal because there were some games where that was the card we wanted to draw the most to close out the game. So anyway, that's Soldiers for Pioneer on a budget. That's Valiant Veteran. Thanks for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you soon